Let's come to our comfortable standing position. Come to the top of your mat. And through your toes, feet, ground your feet into the mat and feel connected with the earth. Knees are soft, tailbone lowered, navel slightly in. Reach your fingers down and shoulders come down as well. Come to mountain pose. The palms can be facing out, forward, or facing in to your sides. Pressing into the feet, reaching fingers to the earth. Release the tension, open your arms, inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale and hinge from your hip. Inhale, lift up. Expand your ribcage as well. Exhale and lower. Inhale. Exhale. From here, open your arms and let's get moving. Exhale, hinge from your hip. Inhale, half lift. Belly tucked in. Exhale, fold. Plant your hands and your feet to the back. And you can hold here. And if you're holding, <laughs> everybody should be holding, but five, four, three, two, one. And come down all the way to your mat. Inhale, Cobra. Press into your hands, close your elbows. And come down, exhale. Press yourself to tabletop. Your hands underneath your shoulders and knees down in the, under your hip. Good. Put your knees together and lift your knee to your right. And let's go slow. Kick back. Knee goes up to the back. And come back in. The slow movement will engage more core, the deep muscle, knee to the side, squeeze into your belly, and knee to the back. Lower, knee to the side, and knee to the back. Well done, knee down to the, the mat, take a breath. And let's move on to your left side. Squeeze in your belly, engage in the belly, and lift your left knee out to the side. Lower, knee to the back. Lower, and two more sets. Knee to the side, and knee to the back. Last one. Knee to the side. Knee to the back. Lower your knee and take a breath. And to rest your wrists, come onto your fingertips. Good. And come down again onto your palms. Lift your, um, actually, before that, knees about hip width apart. Engage your low belly and lift, push into your left hand, right arm lifts, shoulder height. Feel your right oblique, the side belly muscle engage. And let's move. Bring your elbow bends and cactus arm. 
and extend. Try to keep your arm horizontal to your to the floor. Cactus arm and extend. Last one. And extend. Well done. And your right hand comes down and take a breath. Relax your belly. Push into your right hand. Engage your belly and lift your left arm up. Shoulder height. Start to move. Bend your elbow to your cactus arm. Extend forward. And cactus arm. Extend. Feel the left oblique working for you to support. Cactus arm for the last time. Extend your arm forward. And hand comes down. Well done. Hands walk forward. Come into puppy stretch. And relax your shoulders, your chest. So even when your breath is a little faster, you can control your breath to slow down with the intention and by doing so you're controlling your mental state as well to keep calm if you like to and have space to stretch you can lift your elbows and lift your palms Good. Lower your elbows, hands slide underneath your shoulders, and press yourself up. Tuck your toes under, and stretch your toes. Swing your heels side to side, so that your little toes are touching down. Good. And let's walk your hands forward and come onto the elbows. Walk your knees away from elbows and we'll come into half plank. Lift one knee, engage your belly, and lift the other knee, and we'll hold here. Five, four, Three, two, one. Come down all the way. And release your belly down to your mat, your elbows underneath your shoulders. Come into Sphinx Pose, palms facing down. And relax everything into your shoulders and sink into the mat. With your inhale, press elbows down to your mat. From your buttocks to your toes, engage. And as a result, your lifting chest. Exhale and lower. Relax completely. Inhale, lift. Toes pointed, elbows down, palms pushing down to your mat. And exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Again, engage all the way to your toes from your buttocks. Palms pressing down and drag yourself forward. Shoulders down, away from your ears. And breathe. So you're digging your elbows down to your mat, feeling the back muscle, upper back muscle. Dragging yourself forward. There's a lot of engagement from your arms. And legs engaged, your buttocks gently engaged. Take one other breath in. 
and exhale lower hands underneath your chin or forehead take a couple of breaths Good. Open your feet so that your toes are pointing to the corner of your mat. Extend your arms forward and maybe open um, 20 degrees or so out. Good. And from here, we'll, we'll go one by one. Relax your body to begin with and engage just to your right buttocks and right leg and lift your right leg off the mat and let's do two more lift up right leg just the right leg and lower last one and lower take a breath again relax completely and engage your left leg, point your left toes, keep relaxing on your right. Lift up, inhale, and lower. Inhale, and lower. Relax your right leg, last one. Lift up, and lower, well done. Relax your legs for now. Let's lift your right arm with your inhale, lift up. And there's a temptation to push into your left hand, but keep your left hand right, light. Inhale, lift your right arm. Right arm and maybe just right chest. Last one to lift. And lower onto your left side. Relax your buttocks, relax your right shoulder and arm, and engage your left arm to lift. And lower. Using the core, inhale. And lower. Last one to lift. And lower. Take a breath here. And two of the leg and arm together. Left leg and right arm. So relax your right buttocks and left arm. And lift your right arm, left leg. One. And lower. Two, and lower, three, and we'll switch, relax your left buttocks, right buttocks engage, right leg engage, lift your left arm and right leg, lower, two, and lower three and lower well then slide your hands underneath your shoulders and press yourself to tabletop and take a couple of breaths of child pose so sit on your heels or closer to your heels your arms could be forward or towards your heels, whichever is best for you. Good. Slide your hand underneath your shoulders and press yourself up. Come to tabletop, tuck your toes under, and press yourself to downward dog. Let's walk our dogs. 
stretch the back of your legs. And maybe bend into your stretching leg. Feel the squeeze in the shin and good stretch on your calf. Come to the full expression of Downward Dog. Press into your fingers, knees can be soft, heels can be lifted. Create a long line from your wrist to your hip. And once the length is there, you can lower your heels or try to take the bend out of your knees. Good. Look towards your hands, walk your feet. Come to the top of your mat, inhale, half lift. Spine long, exhale from the belly, fold. And rib cage come down, your head down. Let's take two more. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Last one. Inhale. Walk your hands up to your shins or knees. Exhale, fold. Squeeze into the tip of your bum and roll yourself up to standing. Take a breath. Well done. Let's float with one foot. Take it slow if you like. And land on the mat. Good. Push into your feet, back heel. And from here, we're not going to have to balance, but we'll kick into your ball, the ball of your back foot so that you come forward with your weight and come back down. So there's not too much kick, but you're floating in the air. And feel strong on your standing foot and how long you float in the air is up to you but you're controlling the weight with the front leg good let's do one more and land we'll come into modified airplane pose Lift your arms up to the sky, inhale, and exhale. Arms come down, push into your front foot and back foot lifts. Arms come down and back foot lifts or just toes on the mat. Your arm goes up as high as you can and squeeze into shoulder blade. You can stay here. You can play with the swinging. Squeeze into shoulder blades. One more breath. And lower. Relax your shoulders and float back. Take one breath. Good. Let's move on to the other side. Float back with other leg. Push your back heel down. Again, 
will float forward by pushing into the ball of your back foot. Float forward, gentle push, and lower the back foot. At your own pace, keep going. And there is a dominant leg and not so dominant leg. So one foot and one leg feel stronger than the other in a floating position. Uh, quite normal, so don't worry about it. You just notice that, okay, we I need to be more careful on the weaker leg or more strong leg can hold a lot of a lot more weight. Good. Land your back foot and we'll float. Inhale, arms lift up and come into airplane pose. Exhale, arms come down, shift your weight into your front foot and squeeze into your shoulder blades. You can stay here. You can float back and forth. Wherever you are, push into also inner foot in the standing leg. Shoulder blades keep squeezing. One more breath. Slowly lower your back foot. Let's float back. Well done. Let's open your arms. Inhale. Exhale. Hinge from your hip. Inhale. Half lift. Exhale. Fold. Plant your hands. Send your feet to the back. Good. You can hold here. Or you can push the belly button up. And whichever you choose. Five. Four, three, two, one. Come down all the way to your mat. Inhale, cobra, close your elbows. Exhale, lower. And push yourself up to seated position. And feel your legs lengthened and not so much um, too straight. Knees are soft. Inhale, arms lift up. Exhale, fold over your front leg. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, fold over. Inhale. And exhale, stay in the fold position. Three breaths. With your next inhale, slowly come back up. And let's go down to your mat. Hug your knees to your chest. Good. Arms out to the side. Palms facing down. Inhale in the middle. Exhale. Bring your knees down to your right. Keep exhaling, squeeze into your belly, come back to center, inhale. Exhale to your left. Keep exhaling, come back to center, inhale. And keep going two more sets. Even just a little bit, keep exhaling.
and knees down to your right side come into a gentle twist you can stay here and relax you can also extend your right finger sorry left fingers away shoulders down you can place your right hand on top of your top thigh or maybe extend Good. Slowly release. One knee at a time. Come back to center. Knees down to your left side. And stay here or Maybe look towards your right fingers, walk your fingers away from your shoulders and shoulder down. Maybe place your left hand over the top of thigh or maybe extend the thigh. Slowly release, one knee at a time, come back to center, hug your knees to your chest, lift your chin to your knees, and release, release yourself to Shavasana, legs lengthened, arms out to the side, maybe swing your toes in and out. And give yourself a big sigh. <sighs> and feel empty from your chest. And just like a ripple effect, all the body feels empty. With the emptiness, your mind feels light. Now we all come back to our awareness. Start to move your fingers and toes.
Circle your wrists and ankles. Feel the stretch. Fold in and extend. Reverse the circle. Arms down on the mat and slide overhead. Close your legs. Give yourself a nice long stretch. Exhale from your mouth. Tighten your belly, left knee comes in, right knee comes in. Roll yourself up. Come have a seat. Hands on your knees, palms facing up. From your sit bones to the crown, you have nice long strong core, not referring to the muscle, but core of being. You have the sense of self-awareness and where you are centered. Lift your hands off your knees onto your chest. Take one breath. palms together. Thank you so very much for joining today's class. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you and thank you. Well done.